What's up, man? How you feeling? I'm all right. Hey, my coach. How you doing? Yeah, good to see you. So take me all the way back now. I want to know <coughs> when y'all first met. What was that like? Well, I remember, I don't know if he knew me, but I would, would come to Portugal and watch my dad's team practice because he was coaching the eighth grade team with like Dante, Eric, and all that. And I was in fifth, fourth or fifth grade, fifth grade actually. And I was on my fifth, sixth grade basketball team and Aaron was on his sixth grade basketball team. I was at Northwood Academy and he was at Portugal. And it was the first game of the season and we played them and we lost. Yep, got the dub. Yeah. yeah. We lost. <laughs> I was disappointed, but that was my first encounter with Aaron. Uh, and what do you think about Aaron? Be honest. He was not a good basketball player. That was not. He was, was not. not. He, might, he probably <laughs> might have been the the fifth best player on the team. Mm -hmm. That was Manny Snyder's days. <laughs> yeah. Manny Snyder's uh -huh. three days. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, I remember the score. It was 25 to 30. I didn't remember all that. Yeah. Because I, I tried to forget to about the losses. How many points do you have in the 25? A good bit. My, my team wasn't that good. I had to carry the load, just like how was, <laughs> just like it was when I played with him. So uh, nothing new, nothing, mm, nothing new. <laughs> <laughs>
So and like, it's like stuff we didn't even talk about. Yeah, but like, yeah. like if I saw happened. him in the gym, right. then like I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah we cool. pushed each other. Yeah. We had a competitive streak against each other. He thinks he's better than me. I think I'm better than him. <laughs> um, but you push each other because of that. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's all fun and love right. at the end of the day. Of and we just want to get the best out of each other, and I think that's what we did in yeah. our time there. What did JP's relationship mean to you? Mm. And what does it still mean to you? Wow. Mm. It means a lot. <laughs> like, throughout high school, I probably spent more time in his office than I did in oh. any of my classes, which is kind of bad to say, but I was always hanging around him. He was always giving me words of wisdom off the court. And then on the court, he he was a mentor. He told me about his story, um, about what he went through. He helped me out through my recruiting process uh, through school and I definitely would not I owe a lot to him and so my relationship with him means a lot mm -hmm. uh, JP's like a second dad to me pretty much I still talk to him at least once a week and now since I unfortunately um, banged up my foot I've talked to him I banged it up six days ago, and I've talked to him at least four times out of six days. So he he means the world to me, and he's a big reason of why I am where I am right now. I'm sorry, Justin. What's up, coach? He's <laughs> coming right here to see you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, my God. My heart. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? So, so you hey. get good wheels you got. Huh? Sorry, Is that yours? Yeah. How do you back yeah. up? Oh, you, it's this one. It's got a little beat to it. Coach, you yeah. gotta yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all, man. Yeah. But this might not be here when you get gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need it. I need it when my boots off. Yeah, he is a yeah. fool. <laughs> he almost crashed. <laughs> yeah. He did. Coach is a fool. Oh gosh. <laughs> so how's it been playing for Coach Barnes? Whew. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. It's been tough, but it's been a lot of fun. I mean, he's like a, a perfectionist. He demands a lot out of his guards, especially his point guards. Um, and so it's been tough learning the offense, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been a challenge. Um, it's just been a great new experience for me. Getting Coach Stackhouse is obviously huge. How has he impacted you this year? Uh, it's been great. That's, he's such a good dude. Like He looks out for all of his players. He wants the best for them on and off the court, and he wants them to be the best kind of man they can be in life because he's played where I want to be in the NBA for 18 years, and he's done it at the highest level. I'm curious, I'm sure you've all talked, but if you were to give him some real advice, he's midway through freshman year, things are crazy like we talked about earlier. I mean, there's so much, it's so fast, it, it's hard to really catch your feet. What, what's one thing looking back that you, that might, if someone may have told you it might have stuck or helped just a little bit? There's gonna be lanes that you never thought were there your entire year. And if you go back and watch your freshman year, you're gonna think you're an idiot. It's <laughs> like, you're like, oh my gosh, I had all this open. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I would just say stay patient, stay the course, but be more aggressive and pick your spots very much. But, but obviously you're the top guy on our scout, so you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. But I think you could do a lot more than people have seen so far. Well, I know that, but yeah. So you said for a while, basketball wasn't all that serious. Mm -hmm. But then it got serious, and then you learned how to work. Yeah. And obviously you worked very hard to get to this point. You don't just wake up one day and start being a point guard in Tennessee. So wh where did you learn that drive, that work ethic? Uh, like I said earlier, just having Aaron around definitely helped a lot. Uh, my big brother, KJ, he was always uh, in the gym working hard. It's fun being his little brother. And while he was at Portugal, it was a lot of fun. Uh, he taught me a lot. Just having guys like JP and Travis as well, just motivating you, pushing you. And then uh, friends like CJ. How about you, Aaron? Your big brother's obviously the smartest person in the house. <laughs> How's it like growing up like, with that kind of brother? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I ain't called the stupid one <laughs> a good bit. So, yeah, I mean, like, I got SEC all academic role uh, last year. It's pretty big time. Yeah, it's only, it's only a 3.0. And so when I tell him, it's like, it's a 3.0, he's like, 
<laughs> like, well, I can get a 3.0 in my sleep. Like, well, At Harvard. I struggled to get a 3.0, so I'll, I'll take my awards. Yeah. But <laughs> Gotta get yeah, it how you live. I'll get it how I live, exactly. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's right. If we're sitting down five years from now, where do you hope you're going to be? What, what, what do you hope you're going to be doing? I was yeah, yeah. Same thing, but with two different jerseys on. Oh. Making a little bit more money. A little yeah. more money? Yeah, yeah the money would be. <laughs> Man, we can have Chris in here too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's we can right. Add, add another person. Mm -hmm. So, what's Chris meant to you? A whole lot. Um, and from an early age, I guess he, Coach JP, told him about me, and he's always had his 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 hand on my shoulder, guiding me through the way. He's really been like a step brother to me, I guess. Um, and his words of wisdom, just how to handle everything when I was being recruited at a high level. Uh, on and off the court and just his, his life lessons in general he has a, a tremendous story um, he came from a good background kind of like both of us did I definitely could speak for Aaron saying that he helped he helped us out a lot throughout the recruiting process uh, picking and choosing where we wanted to go to school and I take his advice very seriously <laughs> Who's winning the one? Oh my right goodness. Yeah, he even knows that. He, he knows that. Ask, knows him. That. Ask him. Ask him. Okay. It is a Vanderbilt win. If I'm playing, <laughs> it is a Vanderbilt win by 20. If I'm uh, They're if, losing with him and without him. You talking about, about one what, on one? What about just one on one? Oh, I'm winning. He might score. What are we playing to? Well, you, I, I'll you tell you the score. You can't pass yourself, man. You gotta shoot. That's true. I'm learning on that, and I'm getting better. <laughs> okay. All right. But what's, what are we going to? I'll tell you the score. 11. Okay. It'll be mm, two threes. Are we playing twos and threes? Yeah. Six to 11. He'll make two threes and won't <laughs> score after that. Yeah. All right. Sounds, sounds good. If I get the ball, he's not getting it back. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Like, so, sounds good. But every time Van Bull, Tennessee, you know. It's VU every day. Every I day, promise day. you it's not. Is Rocky that's what's Top gonna be. I'm not that. even playing tomorrow. That's what's going to be tomorrow. So. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. And if it, you know what I'm saying? If, it, if that's what happens tomorrow, it would be a real bad sight if I was playing. <laughs> Thank you.